vlog. What is up? Ah, just had some renters going to the house and it's like three o'clock. I've been cleaning all day and I'm finally having lunch. Stoked. Let's get this vlog started, yo. Ooh. Hope everyone is having a good day. It is hot. I feel kind of ridiculous in this hat and these sunglasses right now. Still not used to this situation. If you're new, I had dreads down here just a couple days ago. Um, if you missed that video, definitely gotta check it out. It's hilarious. And yeah, I cut my dreads after like five or six years, so. Really heavy, really heavy. I've been enjoying it a lot. Um, like it's super hot today, you know? But like, I haven't been struggling nearly as bad as I would have with all that hair, dude. Like my neck is like barely sweaty and it used to just like, oh, dude, I had like freaking layers of wool basically on my head and my neck at all times. So it's been feeling awesome, guys. I'm definitely adjusting to it nicely. It's feeling good. I'm, I'm stoked on it. So we're about to head down to f There's a sick novelty break down there right on the rocks I don't know if it's breaking but I got a new nine foot foam surfboard from my work it's super used and beat up but it's new to me and it shrouds yo so we're about to go see if we can find some waves Ew. yeah I also want to say that Amanda did a really good job on this haircut so growing up I always had a phobia of haircuts anyone else suffer from a phobia of haircuts? <laughs> I've hated every haircut I've ever gotten. They freak me out, dude. Amanda's haircut, I actually felt good about. And that was the first time ever that that's happened, so. Really stoked, dude. I don't know how many of you guys watch Ben Gravy, but this is definitely the skeleton bay of Wilmington, dude. Oh, here we go. Oh my God, dude, what the? All right, I'm about to surf on these rocks right now. <laughs> Fully inspired by Ben Gravy. Wish me luck. <laughs> That was fun. Got some screamers, boys. I've been wanting to surf this spot ever since I got that foamy. And it definitely wasn't breaking the way I knew it can. 
but a couple of them lined up and it's so fun to surf like right next to the rocks like that. That was super sick. I wanted to show you guys something that I added to the van today in the plumbing. Um, this allows us to hook up a hose and spray off and shower outside, so check it out. This guy. So that was the best thing I could find at Ace. It's actually a on-off valve for a dryer hookup. So, for a dryer, for a washer, like a washing machine. So now I can hook up a hose and spray off and shower outside. Right now we only have this disgusting looking hose, but I'm gonna get a better one. Flipper on. Got Matt shirt going out. Are you even stoked? Matt Angles dog. Here it comes. Big dog. Woo. Thanks for sharing the stoke, Matt dog. Oh! Keep on crushing that skateboard, dude. <sighs> All right, friends of the vlog. We are here at my parents' house. As most of you know, we do van life from time to time. If you are new to the channel, me and my girlfriend Amanda like to rent out her house via Airbnb, hop in our van, and either stay around town and work or do trips. But it is blazing hot out, and my parents are kind enough to let us hang out at their house, and it's just good to hang out sometimes. So this banjo, is my grandpa's. He gave it to me for Christmas. I call him Papa. And he is absolutely legendary to say the least. This banjo is from about 1970-ish. And it is incredible. It is so pretty. And it sounds awesome. So all day today, and pretty much most of the day yesterday, I've been learning how to play this thing. The, the hardest part so far has been the little finger picks. This is the thumb one, it goes on like that. And then you got these little metal ones that just kind of slide over your fingers. So, yeah. All right, so basically, when you're learning an instrument, you gotta keep the stoke factor alive. I've been trying to learn some proper blues on this thing, but sometimes you gotta just take a break and like play stuff that sounds good and that's fun for you so you don't get burnt out or discouraged. So I'm gonna play you guys one that I wrote that I've been working on for fun. It's definitely not proper blues like bluegrass, but it's fun, so. Cousin brother man in deep remorse, the southern squaw. stormy out so in one day I will be headed to Philadelphia by myself to meet up with million mile sprinter I told you guys in the last video about this and now the time has come to set forth on this journey I've never really taken the van anywhere by myself but I am so excited to learn 
all sorts of good stuff about these vans. Knowing how to work on the vehicle that you travel extensively in is definitely pretty crucial. There are some things we really want to fix on the van and hopefully we'll have the time while I'm there to fix some of them. We're just playing it by ear. I don't know exactly how it's going to go, but I'm really excited to see the stuff that we can get into with these vans. These Sprinter vans are super special. They are very unique and they have an incredible engine. They can definitely be tricky to work on. They can be very tricky to get worked on in general. We're gonna be doing all sorts of cool stuff to these vans, whether it's making it faster, just fixing things. Um, we'll see. We'll see what Joel wants to get into. It's gonna be sick. Pretty awesome. Joel from Million Mile Sprinter actually has 13 kids and that's why they own Sprinter vans. So pretty awesome. I would imagine it's pretty much the only van that can handle 13 kids. So pretty epic. 